Hi, Dr. Jim Norman here, along with Callie. Hi again. We're talking about parathyroid tumors and sesame scans. You will notice that I've been drawing on Callie from another video in this series, which explains where parathyroid tumors can be found. In this video, we're going to draw on Callie a little bit more to help you understand why we say the most important thing a sesame scan shows is where the tumor is not located. Everybody's concerned about their sesame scan, and it's my desire to help you understand that many sesame scans are worthless because of how the technicians perform the scan. Heck, some perfectly performed scans don't show the parathyroid tumor because of where the tumor is located behind the thyroid. You must not worry about having a positive scan. The fair to have a positive scan is by far the number one question we ever get. Please understand, if you're about to have a parathyroid operation, scan quality is very important but not as important as the experience of your surgeon. As a review, parathyroid tumors can be anywhere in this box, but they must be inside this box. They can't be outside this box. Most of them are around the thyroid gland, but some of them can be up high or some down low. Let's look at some of the x-rays now and talk about some common and not so common places where parathyroid tumors can be. On a previous video, we drew on this x-ray to show you that parathyroid tumors can be anywhere in this box. The butterfly is the thyroid gland, and on this particular one, that little black spot, that's some, a patient's parathyroid tumor. Just like we drew on Cali, the parathyroid tumor has to be inside of this box. Let's look at another x-ray and show you where these tumors can and cannot be. On this x-ray, again, we see shoulders and head, and all these black spots in the head are all salivary glands. Those are normal. We're always going to ignore those. Here you see a butterfly and a parathyroid tumor right behind the, th the, the thyroid gland. The butterfly is the thyroid, and the parathyroid tumor is the almond right behind the thyroid gland. So in Cali, that represents the thyroid here, and the parathyroid tumor be right behind it. That's a very typical, usual location of a parathyroid tumor. Let's look at another one. Here's another x-ray. Let's look at this one. Shoulder, patient's shoulders and head. Again, we're going to ignore the black spots up here. Those are salivary glands. The butterfly, again, is the thyroid gland. And then here you can see the parathyroid tumor right below the thyroid on the left-hand side. On this camera view, you see that the parathyroid tumor is moved over to the side over here. Here the parathyroid tumor is in line, here it's way over here. On this particular view, it's way over here. That is because of the three-dimensional nature of this tumor. It's not here, it's here. Let's look at this on Cali and I'll show you what this means. On Cali, this would appear like the thyroid's here and the parathyroid tumor's here. In fact, that's not the case. It's actually way back here. It's about two inches behind the thyroid gland. So again, as we discussed before, this big space the size of a coconut, it's way in the back of that coconut, not up front. And we can tell that by moving the cameras a little bit on the sesame scans, allowing us to get a three-dimensional view of this two-dimensional space. Here's another x-ray I want to show you with an important point. Again, shoulders and head. We're going to ignore the black spots up here. These are salivary glands. The big butterfly is the thyroid. And here's the patient's parathyroid tumor. It's down in the chest a little bit. Let's look where that would be on Cali. On Cali, here's her thyroid gland. This parathyroid tumor is way down here. It's not even in her neck. It's in her chest. These tumors we can get out through a little small incision in the neck. But the tumor itself is in the chest. You have to be very careful have a really good quality scan, or you're going to miss these tumors. You'll make an incision up here. You could really search for hours because you could make an incision in the neck, search all over the neck for the parathyroid tumor, and really it's in the chest. So you really need to have a good quality sesame scan. This is another good example of where parathyroid tumors can be. This is a little bit more uncommon, but you better understand where it is or your surgeon can make a big mistake. Here's your shoulders and head again. We're going to ignore the black spots up here in the, in, the, in, the, in the head. These are salivary glands. Here's the thyroid. Here's the tumor way down here. Let's look where that would be on Cali. On Cali, that tumor is way down here. There's no way you can make an incision in the neck and reach this tumor. 
once again, if you don't have a good quality cystomeby scan and you don't realize that this tumor is located down here, you can make a big incision in the neck, operate for hours and hours, you'll never find the tumor. It's not in the neck, it's in the chest. This is why you have to have a really good quality scan. What we would do for these is make a small incision here. A lot of people would make an external split, split the sternum open like open heart surgery. We don't do that. We would make a little incision in between the ribs to remove this tumor. But most importantly, you've got to have a good quality scan or you can be operating the neck for hours on a tumor that's not even in the neck. The last one in this series that I want to talk about is an undescended parathyroid glands. Very uncommonly, they can be way up high in the neck. So once again, here's a patient's shoulders and heads. We're going to ignore, ignore these black spots here. These are salivary glands, like on everybody. This is the thyroid. And look, here's this patient's parathyroid tumor way up there, very high in the neck, this spot right here. Let's look where that is on Cali and see what, what a challenge this could be if you don't know the anatomy very well. That tumor we just looked at on Cali would be way up here at the top of this box. Now you can see that if you make an incision here, you can operate for hours around the thyroid looking for this parathyroid tumor. It's not there. It's way up here. In fact, you can't get there through an incision in the neck down here. This would require an incision up here. If you try to get at it from here, the carotid artery and jugular veins are in the way. So you have to be smart. You have to know what you're doing here. Otherwise, you can make an incision in the wrong spot, operate for hours, and never find the tumor. This is why you need really good quality scans and a very experienced surgeon. I hope you enjoyed this video.